Jane is desperate to get Max released and Ian agrees to meet Marcus to provide an alibi. But when Bobby gets into a fight at school, Ian decides to leave the square with him instead. Meanwhile, Jane admits to Sharon that Ian and Bobby have disappeared and she wants to help Max, but their hushed conversation soon gets Phil suspicious. Later, Jane goes to call Keeble to explain that she's the killer, but Phil grabs her and tells her he knows what happened to Lucy. Phil gets a text from Kay asking to meet, but when he gets to the destination, he finds Gavin there instead. Phil and Ronnie manage to get an address for Kathy and go to track her down, but Gavin's on their tail. Vincent and Ronnie appear to be growing closer, much to Charlie's disgust. She helps Vincent home after he has a fall, but later tries to put Charlie first, for Matthew's sake. As Claudette warns Vincent off her, Ronnie makes a big decision about Charlie. We drop into Coronation Street next. It's all about Tracy and Carla, as Tracy climbs into a car with a drunk Carla to try to stop her blaming herself for the fire. Carla drives like a maniac until the pair reach a quarry and fall out of the car. Carla's determined to take her life and end her guilt, but Tracy stops her from jumping by confessing, leading to a cliff-top catfight. Carla decides not to go to the police, realising it's her word against Tracy's, but then reveals Tracy's confession to the entire Rovers. The police soon descend on the street and arrest Tracy on suspicion of murder, but she insists she only confessed to stop Carla from jumping. Guilt-free, Carla is soon back to her old self, and when Nick fires Robert for covering for Tracy, Carla tells him to rehire him. She wants it all forgotten. The school called Callum to collect Max when he feels ill, and Kylie doesn't answer her phone. But Max is terrified of his thug of a father, and he's right to be. When Callum learns Denton wants the serious cash he owes him, he takes Max home, but makes a big demand of Kylie and David. Next, we visit the Yorkshire folk. Bell and Kieran seem like a nice match. If it wasn't for his sordid past with his ex Vanessa, is Belle biting off more than she can chew? Joni advises her to be confident around Kieran, so she leans in for a kiss. But what's this? Is there still something simmering between Kieran and Vanessa? Later, Kieran sees Belle in a new light when she handles things brilliantly at the launch. But when Vanessa goes into premature labour and Adam's not around, she turns to Kieran. How will that play out? Adam's alarmed to find he has 28 missed calls after spending the day with Victoria. When he gets to the hospital, he finds their baby is critical, but stable. David wants to stay, but Alicia's desperate to leave. So when you factor in Pollard's fragile state, things aren't looking healthy, Shay Metcalf. Especially when she tries to get Pollard to prove he can survive solo. Pollard is furious when David lets Alicia return to Portugal. He had no choice about losing Val. David does. Food for thought? Well, you'd hope so. 